2065 AD. Neural City, the underground metropolis, is located 20.05 degrees south latitude, 68.11 degrees east longitude. Built by the Bifloss Group, 60 meters beneath the Earth's surface. The human race fled to Neural City from the Earth's surface in 2038 to escape extinction at the hands of the Gigari virus, which threatened to wipe out all life on the planet. In this underground hollow, everything is controlled by a computer called Cyrus. Under the pretense of preventing population increase, the Bifloss group conducts complete population control in order to obtain superior genetic samples. A new resistance force, Del Sol, was formed to challenge Bifloss's tyrannical dictatorship. Their efforts would bring hope to the oppressed citizens of Neural City. Layla! Masao! So, Masao, it's you. Byflos, are you insane? You two should open your eyes. Who saved the human race from life on a ravaged, desolate Earth? It was I. My plan, which you and your rebel friends are so dead set on stopping, is designed to save mankind. You two don't understand anything! DNA is just a bunch of chemical formulas. There's nothing human about it. No emotions or feelings. That's ridiculous. Once I discovered the existence of Kalik, I realized that living forever through DNA was the ultimate happiness. I built Cyrus to continue the thought, the ideology of Kalik. If we preserve superior DNA for the future, the human race will have eternal life. I wouldn't want to exist like that. <gasps> Layla! Father? Father! Layla, are you hit? doesn't add up. Layla, we've got to get out of here. Sting won't die! Why do you choose? 
life with limits. If they lived as DNA, they could have eternal life. How could a machine know the first thing about human emotions? You're trying to tell me that you can remember things, have emotions? What the hell do you know? If you destroy me, you'll also be destroying yourself. Asao, we did it! We finally found it! The cure for the Gagari virus! It was hidden in Cyrus's internal database. With this information, we can wipe it out. Well, Cyrus, I guess nothing is forever. And you're history! Okay, colleague. So maybe the human race is a little off course. Nevertheless. Everything started from me. And it will end with me. Let me tell you something. You ain't the only absolute around. Logical. Yeah. DNA. What the hell did you come back for? You telling me you don't need my help? I didn't say that. You hit bad? It's nothing. Just a scratch. Looks like more than just a scratch. Let's head back to Jim's place and get this protect armor fixed up. Okay. The way out is just up ahead. Come on. You can follow me. As long as human beings are alive, Kalik will never die? So this is the SX-911.
What do you know? You're alive after all. You too, huh? Listen, Jim, what's going on these days over in Cetavisa? I need some information. So you finally made up your mind to come back, huh? Well, no. Not exactly. What's not exactly supposed to mean? What are you talking about? You're not coming back to rejoin Del Sol? No. No, I'm not. Look, you can't carry the past around forever. That was an accident that happened on that mission. Forget it. It could have happened to anyone. In any case, if you want to find out about things in Sadavisa, you'll need to go to the Information Center. Here's a map you can use. How recent is this? Got it about a month ago. You can't get in through the first floor entrance. You'll have to break in after destroying the second floor. Here's an ID card I forged. You should be able to access most Bifloss library information with it. The problem is, all information on the Sadavisa sector is top secret, so you won't be able to access it with this card. Security is always upgrading the cards. If you can get your hands on one of the latest Master ID cards once you're in the center, you should be able to access the data you're looking for. But one thing's for sure, it won't be easy. Thanks. And, uh, sorry I've been out of touch for so long. Hey, forget it. If I remember correctly, there was a problem with your protector. It's been collecting dust since the incident, hasn't it? That's right. There was a problem with its sax ammunition discharge, right? It'll take some time to get the parts I need to fix it. For now, there's nothing to do but sit tight. You got it. Masao? What? Uh, it's just that for a minute there, talking like this, it started to feel like the old days. Jim, don't. You look like hell. Are you all right? I guess the phony ID card came in handy after all. Yeah. I got the information on Cetavisa. How can I view it? Now that you've got the information, I can handle the rest. Leave the data. There's just one thing. Don't you think it's about time you leveled with me about just what the hell you're after? I need to find a Lafres flower. Lafres? What are you gonna do with a flower? Save somebody who's important to me from the virus. Hey, lots of people are suffering. This is different. Okay, I guess that's your business. You should get going, but be careful. They've got a really tough security system in place everywhere you go. I'll take you to the entrance of the aqueduct. Once you get that flower, get your butt back to the entrance pronto. I'll pick you up there. I forgot to tell you, I also rebuilt the laser gun. I gave it a little more energy output and automatic firing capabilities. Now don't go getting your head blown off out there. Masao, I see the flower did the trick. It's written all over your face. So what brings you here today? I met Sanders in Sadavisa. So Sanders is still in Sadavisa. Things must have gotten bad. I guess you know about Carlos. Why didn't you tell me? When you came here the other day, it would have been a waste of effort to tell you Carlos had been taken prisoner. Jim, I'm going back. I'm gonna help Sanders. Hey, what the hell is this? I found it in the Bifloss Research Center. This is incredible. It's Galilium Amorphous, for God's sake. Now I can give your Zax a real power upgrade. Are the two of you all right? Take a look at Sanders' protect armor. Man, looks like you took some pretty good shots. Bifloss and company aren't fooling around. It was swarming with killer robots out there. They're beefing up their security precautions, which means that from here on in, you're gonna have to lay out your strategy very carefully. First, let me get this suit ready for action. Why don't you two get a little rest? We'll be at my place. We'll wait for your call there. Masao, thanks for helping us out. Listen, I don't want to believe it myself. Masao, I understand how you feel, but for now, the only thing you should be concentrating on is getting Carlos out of there. Right. I was talking to Jim about ways into the tower. It looks like entry via the aqueduct is getting more and more difficult. With this equipment, even if you make it to the tower, you'd never make it back alive. With today's SJ-107R, there are limits no matter how much you rebuild it. Then what can we do? Are you saying we haven't got a prayer? Not necessarily. In the Bifloss Armory, there's a new type of armor. The SX-911. You need to get to it. 
SX-911? With its modern weaponry, you'll have a much better chance. All right, let's get a move on. I have a detailed layout of the armory, but in order to get to the armor, you will each have to attack from opposite sides in order to break through Bifloss defenses. Unfortunately, that's all the information I have on the armory. Good luck. I see you found something. Hmm. It's a PDCS. A new circuit has been added. This should give the suit much greater defense capabilities. If you two can wait a bit, I'll install it now. Sal. So, this is an SX-911. Man, would you look at this. The basic operation looks the same as the SJ-107, huh? Jim. The PDCS is the latest model. And the charge supply, it's incredible. Jim. It's even equipped with a shield barrier. Jim. What? Sanders. Sanders. What about Sanders? In the arsenal. They got him back in the arsenal. Wow. I can't believe it. One thing's for sure. They're gonna pay for this. You're going to the tower alone? Think Carlos is still up there? He should be on the third level. Let's just hope he's still alive. Third level. Got it. Hold on. Layla told me the password to get into the tower. Layla. Once you're in the tower, the first thing you've got to do is lock the doors and cut the circuits. If you don't, they'll know exactly where you got in. When you get Carlos out, report to me at once. Hey, what have you got there? That's beam reflective coating, isn't it? With this material, I'd estimate your armor will take half as much damage. Jim, it's Layla. She's gone to see Bifloss. Bifloss? She went to see her father? I'm going after her. She's probably gone to Bifloss headquarters. She'll never get past security in the tower. I don't want to lose anyone else. Well, Carlos is resting up at Doc's place. You pull through. Right. <coughs> you okay? Maybe the fighting is starting to take its toll on you. It's nothing. I must have choked on something. Hell, I'm used to this kind of fighting by now. Okay, you get going. I'll take care of things on this end. What about Bifloss? He was done in by one of his bodyguard robots. That must be Cyrus's work. All systems are starting to go haywire. Father was always talking to Cyrus. It was as if he saw Cyrus as some kind of superhuman existence. Cyrus is under the illusion that protecting himself is the same as protecting the happiness of the human race. Bifloss said something about incorporating the ideology of Kalik into Cyrus's programming. Kalik? symbol of eternal life. The way I see it, since our lives do have limits, we try to make every minute count. That's the real meaning of being human. How can machines feel the pain that we do, or understand our joys or sorrows? No way. Jim, is there some way we can change the program? No, there's not a thing anybody can do. The only alternative we have is to destroy Cyrus. How do I get to Cyrus? There's only one way in. The express elevator to the fourth floor. Okay, looks like that's where I'm headed. I'm sure Cyrus has anticipated our movements. It's sure to be one hell of a fight. Masao, be careful. I, I want you to come back in one piece. I just found something that'll make things a lot easier. This is a laser energy high-speed charge unit. I designed one of these myself. But I couldn't build a prototype because I didn't have the materials. I'll install it now. Take a look at this. It looks like a PDCS. I've never seen circuitry like this. It looks like a prototype, but I don't see why it can't work. You rest for a bit. I'll get to work on installing it. Give it to you straight, son. She's only got a week to live. A week? And until yesterday, she was so healthy and full of life. It's the Gagari virus. Once the symptoms appear, it's not long before it takes a life out of you. 
Isn't there anything we can do to save her? Doc, don't just stand there. Is there a way to save her or not? A long time ago, I, I do remember hearing something. Uh, heard what? A way we can save Layla? The pollen, uh, the flower, uh, the, the fresh, that's it. Now, now I remember. I, I believe it was called the fresh. The la fresh flower? Pollen? It's just a theory I heard from a research scientist. The pollen contains a substance that might be capable of destroying the Gagari virus. Where? This la fresh flower, where can I find it? Now it's extinct in Neural City. Well then where? I heard a rumor there are still some specimens left in Satavisa, the Forbidden Sector. Satavisa? Satavisa is the only way to get above ground. Layla. Masao, going to Satavisa is too dangerous. There's no way you can make it. I'm going to save Layla. I... I've got to try. I swear I'll be back with the Lafress. Layla, until then you've got to hold on. Sadavisa must have changed a lot by now. I'm gonna need more information. Jim! That's it, Jim. He should be able to give me some kind of information I can use. Okay, now where's the Lafresse? From Santa Visa, go above ground. Above ground, huh? According to my data, it shouldn't be too far now. Unidentified life form ahead. There it is. Layla, hold on. It shouldn't be long now. I got it. I brought back the Lafresse. You did? Give it to me. I just hope we're still in time. Layla. Layla, how do you feel? Masao, much better. Is someone there with you? It's all right. It's just an old friend, Sanders. What the hell? Sanders, what's the matter with you? Masao, what the hell is this? Some kind of joke? Or a trap? You trying to set me up? What are you talking about? What joke? This can't be true. Not you. Don't tell me you risked your life for her. You're damn right I did. It was the only way to pull Layla through the virus. You got a problem with that? So you're asking me to believe you don't know who she is? Masao! What are you saying? She's by Floss's daughter, for God's sake! Sanders, don't play games with me about Layla. Why don't you ask Layla here who's playing games with who? Go ahead, ask her. Layla, tell me he's wrong. He's got to be wrong. <laughs> well, Layla, answer me. <laughs> Layla. <laughs> so you really didn't know. <laughs> Maybe the two of you should go have a good long talk. Layla, wait. I didn't mean to lie to you, really. You gotta believe me. <laughs> but you gotta believe Layla, me. We've been fighting to overthrow Bifloss for all this time. He's obsessed with delusions and fantasies. I'm, I'm sure he'll wake up and come to his senses. I. No matter what happens, Layla, I love you. But right now I have to go. You stay here. I'll be back. Layla? Where are you? What's this? Masao, please believe this. I never betrayed you. I wanted to tell you. I tried to tell you over and over, but I was so afraid of losing you. I didn't want to destroy our life together. My father believes that leaving superior DNA data for future generations is for the good of mankind. But what he doesn't understand is that genes alone aren't everything. 
The true value of life is something you can never replace with DNA. I'm going to convince my father. I'm sure he'll see it my way. Don't worry, I'll be back. I'm sorry, Masao. Please trust me. Who is that? Wait a minute, that voice. Sanders! What the... Masao, where the hell have you been hiding out for all this time? One minute you're on a mission and the next minute you're gone? I'll explain later. Sanders, what the hell are you doing here? Carlos, Bifloss got him. Bifloss? They're trying to drag all the information on Del Sol out of him. Where? The tower. Man, I never thought I'd run into you here. Let's go. Wait a minute. Wait for what? The longer we stay here, the more danger Carlos is in. I can't go with you. I'm sorry. You can't go, huh? Yeah. I guess you're not the one to count on for backup. <laughs>